in the previous video lesson we learned about the inequation we learned some basic thing and introduction of the inequation and in this video lesson let's discuss about the solution of an inequation right so what is solution of an inequation solution of an inequation so from solution word you already uh, understand what does this mean what is the actually the value of the variable that involves in the inequation I'm taking a very simple, very simple uh, inequation. Let's say x minus 5 is greater than or equals to 0. Okay, so this is my very basic. Even I'm not taking the equals to sign. Okay, let's say uh, it is just uh, greater than sign. So x minus 5 is greater than 0. So solution of an inequation, let's say solution of this x minus 5 greater than 0 is that value of this variable x which satisfy this inequations which satisfy this inequation keep again in mind that value of x all right that values of x which satisfy this inequation are called the solution of this uh, inequation all right so if i'm putting here in the place of x all right if i'm putting here let's say uh, let's say 1 all right if i'm putting 1 then what i will get i'll get 1 minus 5 is greater than 0 it means it means minus 4 is greater than 0 but this is this is wrong this is false it's not so x equals to 1 is not the solution all right if i'm putting now x equals to let's say let's say uh, 4 what i'm getting let's see all right if i'm putting 4 then it will be 4 minus 5 greater than 0 it means it will be minus 1 is greater than 0 again this is false all right what about if i'm putting here 5 now all right if i'm putting here 5 so if i'm putting here 5 then 5 minus 5 is greater than 0 that means 0 is greater than 0 that's again false all right so 1 4 5 these are not the solution of uh, solution of this inequation what about if i'm putting here x equals to 6 all right just see what happens if i'm putting x equals to 6 then i'll get 6 minus 5 greater than 0 because this is this is our x all right it was x minus 5 greater than 0 and x get replaced by 6 so 6 minus 5 equals to 0 that is 1 is greater than zero and that's absolutely right all right and what about if x equals to just 5.5 uh not i'm taking 5.5 here let's say i'm taking a 7 all right so again what will happen x is replaced by 7 minus 5 is greater than zero that is 2 is greater than zero that's absolutely right if i'm putting here 5.5 what happens let's see now so what is our x that's our now 5.5 minus 5 that is absolutely greater than zero if you see that it will be 0 0.5 is greater than zero that's right all right so what do we what do we see here if we make the number line here all right if we make the number line here and if this is my zero one two three four five six seven eight and so on all right here if i'm taking any values if i'm taking any values less than or equals to five all right these values if i'm taking Till negative infinity then I'm getting the wrong uh, I'm, I'm getting wrong I mean it is not going to satisfy the inequation all right but if I'm taking any value all right if I'm taking any value greater than 5 any value greater than 5 till positive infinity that time our inequation is getting satisfied all right but again keep in mind we are not going to take this 5 all the numbers greater than 5 not equals to 5 it can be like 5.0000001 it's right but not 5 not 5 all right so greater than 5 so that's why i, I remove this 5 all right in the number line so all the number greater than 5 that is going to satisfy this inequation so the solution here if you see in, in this in this inequation the solution of this inequation is this number line i mean i mean not 5 but till infinity uh, not even infinity we don't use infinity right so from 5 to 8 but not including 5 not including infinity so this is the solution all right from 5 to infinity this is all real number line in this real number line if you see this is the solution of this inequation x minus 5 is greater than 0 all right so uh, let me do one more uh, same i'm doing all right x minus 5 uh, is greater than or equals to 0 if it is like this then what will be the solution Again, we already learned that uh, if we are putting the value of x, uh, any any value if we put x uh, less than 5, all right, 
So in this case, you know, if I'm putting if our x equals to 5, then what will happen? Uh, in the place of x, I can put here 5, all right? 5 minus 5 is greater than or equals to 0. So it is again 0 is greater than or equals to 0. In this time, you know, this greater than sign is not working, but this equals to sign is working. It means now I need to include the 5 also, all right? So if you, if you see uh, any number, if I'm taking this number line, all right? Uh, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, till infinity, you know. So, in this time, I have to include this 5 also because when I put the 5, still I get 0 is equals to 0 and that's right. So, including 5, all the bigger number, right, all the real numbers greater than 5 and including 5. So, real numbers greater than or equals to 5, all these real numbers are the solution of this inequation x minus 5 is greater than or equals to 0 all right so in this time if you want to see in the uh, if you want to write in the bracket form then it will be 5 including so that's why i'm giving big bracket till infinity all right because we, we can't take infinity we don't know what is infinity that's why i'm giving open bracket here all right and i hope you have very already very good concept of open bracket and close bracket uh okay so these are the solution you know so simply i think uh, you understand what what is the meaning of solution it means solution of an inequation means only those value of the variables which satisfy that inequation all right uh, which satisfy means the left hand side should satisfy the right hand side all right i hope you understand this and in the next video we'll learn something more about the inequations all right see you in the next video goodbye